Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris D from PC Addicts. This is going to be a very short video on cloning a VirtualBox machine. Um, the reason I'm doing this is in preparation for some future Exchange 2010 videos coming up. And I thought I'd, you know, while I'm in the process of setting up another virtual machine, um, figure I'd shoot a video. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to keep the Exchange server separate from my domain controller, this Windows 2010 or 2012 domain controller. And so, Cloning it is going to be my quickest option rather than setting up a whole new virtual machine and going through the install and updates and all that stuff. Now, when I installed this Windows 2012 server in VirtualBox, right after I installed it and installed all the updates, before I added any roles to it, I created a snapshot just in case I had to do something like this. We'll get to this in a minute, but uh, as far as right now, let's just go ahead and clone this thing. I'm going to right-click the virtual machine. It's powered off. I don't know if it'll work powered on. Anybody knows, let me know down below. Select clone. We can name it. I'm going to go ahead and just give this the, I'm going to add exchange at the end over here. And I want to reinitialize the MAC address. That way it doesn't get the same MAC address as the other machine up above. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and do a full clone. I don't want to link it to the, to the previous one. Um, here's our snapshot states. I want to, I also want to, clone all the states because I want to once the, when the exchange server is done cloning I want to I want to restore the snapshot from the beginning so that way I don't have active directory installed on it and all that good stuff I'm gonna hit clone and it's gonna go through its process it's probably gonna be about 10 15 minutes and I will be back and I just want to show you real quick we're about uh, one and a half minutes into it and it's saying an hour 13 minutes but it's really not going to be that long so again i'm going to pause it and i'll be back and i'll tell you how long it took okay and we are just about done here 99 percent and we are going on minute six right now on this cloning process and it's done so as you can see we have now this cloned machine right here and we can get into the settings and do whatever we want to do in the settings but quite frankly i'm content with the entire configuration so what i want to do first is actually i want to restore a snapshot because I don't want to power it up right now. If I power it up right now it's got Active Directory installed um, and it's got some other things going on there. So what I want to do is go into snapshots on this thing, pick this the oldest one which is according to my description is before the DC promo which is uh, which to me means I added the Active Directory domain services and all that goodness. So if I want to restore to that one I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's highlighted, click this. I do not want to create okay I do not want to create a snapshot of its current state, so I'm just going to uncheck that and click Restore. It is now restored, saved. What I want to do is go ahead and fire it up. There's going to be a couple things I need to do to this thing. Can you guess what? And if you said change computer name, that's correct. And if you also said change the NIC configuration, which it's not connected right now so I want to double check and make sure that it's not set for a static IP I can't recall at this stage when I made this yes I did so what I want to do is change this to dot 11 otherwise we're gonna have an IP conflict so I'm going to close that and then I'm gonna also change the computer name from the king to I don't know uh, the mail. How about the mail? Let's just do the mail. And I'm going to leave it on the work group because I'm going to worry about joining to the domain later. That may be another video. I know somebody was asking about that. So for the most part, this is all I need to be, that all needs to be done to get this thing cloned and working properly on, on this network. And uh, later on, I will go ahead and join it to this domain controller right here once I have it all powered up and everything. But uh, for the most part, that's cloning. So be prepared for Probably a video on joining another, joining a, a second server to a domain since that was requested a couple times. And then also some exchange server videos. So, alright guys, talk to you later.